Hi guys. Hi. Right, I'm sorry I'm late. Um, it's defending Elvis Presley. Fans want the truth. We're going to have an interesting live. Uh, I don't know how long I've got. It's all to do with the kids. So I want to give people a chance to join us. So what I'm going to do is probably cover slightly different things, very slightly. Um, and as the people build up, I'll um, start hitting the topic. Right, let me just live now. I'm just telling everyone we're live. Okay, right. Hi, Jane. Hi, Linda. <clears throat> I got my cup of tea. Uh, let's just let everyone know we're live. We're live. Okay, I definitely want to... Hi, Deborah. You got my message? Yeah, did I wake you up? Um, let me just put... Well, well, we know Deborah loves, hates to miss them. So I, I actually remembered to message you, Deborah. Sometimes I forget. Sorry. Uh, let me just put it on everything. Make sure everyone knows. Okay. We're getting there, guys. So a bit of an interesting day. Bit of an interesting day, guys. <laughs> So, where do we start? Um, <clears throat> um, are you as awake? Good. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. We're having an interesting day. Now, I started off doing um, a live stream. We were covering Evolution Elvis, which is a uh, just quick update as people join us. Um, luckily, I'm alone. Um, my son's upstairs, but other than that, no kids. Uh, the dogs don't know where they are. They're probably asleep upstairs. Hi, Rosa. How are you? Linda. Um, so I think some people are going to avoid this live because some people find this uh, discussion talking about the possibility of Elvis Presley having a secret grandchild. Well, really, Elvis and Lisa. I mean, Elvis and Priscilla having a secret grandchild, um, quite awkward, quite upsetting. I get it. It's a touch. It's very touchy because you think about the child, you think about the parents. Um, it's awkward, isn't it? We don't know if it's true. So um, then you've got, I'm going to show some of the discussion on our, on our Defending Elvis Presley Facebook page. We have a chat. You guys have been chatting about it. I'm going to read off some of that if you don't mind now um i'm i have to say guys i'm completely surprised that bridget cruz joined us bridget cruz is the reason bridget cruz is the reason this information is has been let out of the bag that there's a possibility of a secret grandchild in florida she is the reason there is no other reason yeah there is the lawsuit, the ongoing lawsuit between Bridget Cruz and Priscilla for whatever the amount is. And then there's a countersuit from Priscilla claiming elder abuse and Bridget Cruz, who may be watching now. You're very welcome, Bridget Cruz, just so you know. I found you very polite and well and gracious and you answered all of our questions. You were very respectful. I have nothing bad to say about Bridget Cruz. Nothing. Yeah. Now, am I going to completely give you? Um, no, no, that's the wrong way of putting it. Am I going to say um, if I believe it or if I don't? Well, I I have to say at the moment we have to. I have to sit on the fence. I have to because Bridget Cruz isn't my mate. She's not my mate. I like her. She seems friendly and genuine and respectful. She's well-mannered. She answered all our questions. So if we're going to be talking about Bridget Cruz's character, she seems great. I don't know her. 
I don't know Bridget Cruz. I don't live in Florida. I'm not friends with Priscilla. Yeah, I don't know Priscilla. So do I know if it's true or not? Of course I don't. Of course I don't. I'm just a Louis at home who's running a Elvis channel with Team Elvis, and we're here to defend Elvis and his bloodline. That's all I am. Nothing special. Yeah, we're quite a small channel. I wouldn't say we're a massive channel. We're okay. I love this channel. I love having this platform with you guys. I think it's brilliant. I really enjoy my daily live streams. But do I know better? Do I know that it's true? Of course not. So I respect all of you to have different opinions than me. And some of you think it's bullshit. Some of you believe it. Some of you don't like Bridget Cruz. Some of you do like Bridget Cruz. Some of you think it's not Bridget Cruz. How many of you guys here don't believe that it's Bridget Cruz? We don't know. At the, the, at the end of the day, it's Bridget Cruz is at the other end of a live stream. Yeah, we don't know if it's her. Do I think it's her? Um, well, I think it's possible. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to say it's definitely her because that I would I would sound dumb, wouldn't I? Because I I'm not sat with her, sending the messages. What I do do is I how can I say it? I listen to the words that Bridget Cruz, you know, alleged Bridget Cruz is saying, the way that she's messaging, and it comes across genuine. I listen to how she's answering the questions, and she obviously knows exactly what she's talking about. When you're talking about, when she answers these questions, they are well thought out replies. They are intelligent replies of someone in the inside world of Bridget Cruz and the lawsuit with Priscilla that knows what they're talking about. So is there a chance that it's Bridget Cruz? Yeah, definitely. I would say there's a high chance. I'm leaning towards, yeah, it probably is Bridget Cruz. Now, with the, um, the situation, is it true that Elvis is, that there is a secret grandchild? Well, the only answer I can give you guys is why would Bridget Cruz, and she gave the same answer. I, I, I can't get the old comments up until tomorrow, but she would say, why would I go to court and give evidence if it's not true? I repeat, Bridget Cruz would say, why would I go to court and say that there is a secret grandchild in Florida if it's not true? That carries a lot of weight, guys, because if it's not true, she can get in trouble. If it's not true, from what I know, this whole court case between Bridget and Priscilla could get thrown out. So if it turns out that there is no grandchild, the whole court case is over. Now, Pr Priscilla has three weeks to respond to say if it's true or not. So we're going to find out in the next three weeks unless she defaults. If Priscilla defaults, then it will carry on. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to read a few of your comments. Uh, and then I want I wanted to read some of the 24-7 chat as well. Now, I had different topics today, but because Bridget Cruz um, joined our live, very possibly, I know some of you think it's not her. I, I, I think we have to talk about this between Team Elvis, with Elvis fans, with members, we got to discuss this, guys. It's too important because the ramifications of that there is a secret grandchild is, is a big deal. Because, come on, guys, the most famous man in the world who we all adore, yeah, we've all assumed that Lisa Marie was his only child, okay? We've all known that Finley and Harper, the beautiful twins, are his grandkids, that Riley, amazing Riley Q, who I think has gone through hell to get this book published and is working way too hard promoting this book, but we completely respect her for it. Elvis's other grandchild. So Elvis has three grandkids. Yeah, all female. So if, if there is a male grandchild, it's a big deal, guys. It's a very, very big deal. 
Uh, it has to be taken very seriously because the knock-on effect is massive. Um, now, it's an awkward one because if we're talking about a child, you know, whatever age, 13 years old could be, um, uh, it's, it's awkward to talk about a child, isn't it? It's awkward. We, I almost feel like we shouldn't be because the, the parent involved, I'm guessing, I think it's one parent, and the child itself. So, you know, it's not, is it, any, is it our business? No, it definitely is not our business. 100% it's not our business. But I would also say this, guys, everything that we talk about on here that is to do with Elvis and his bloodline is none of our business. Whether or not Elvis was unfaithful, none of our business. Whether or not Elvis uh, had met Priscilla at 14 and what went on, it's none of our business. Even the marriage, Elvis's marriage, it's not our business, guys. The divorce settlement, it's not our business. Who saved Graceland? Who launched it as a, as a living museum? None of our business. All of the business dealings that went on with Elvis Presley Enterprises, it's none of our business. When we're talking about Riley Q, it's none of our business. You get, the, you get what I'm saying to you guys. Everything we talk about is none of our business. When we spent all of our years following Lisa Marie from a child till she was 54, it was none of our business. Come on, 17, 18 years of the time when we um, were very interested in Lisa Marie Presley as Elvis's child, it was none of our business. So we are fans. We are fans, yeah? So we are nosy parkers. We make it our business as fans. So when people say to me, you know, it's nothing to do with us, um, yeah, I know, but we're fans. So... It is our business as fans. So that is where I come from with that. So, and I say that very respectfully. Uh, let me just quickly check some of your your comments. Um, she sat right. So Linda was with us. So anyone that was here uh, that watched Bridget Cruz engage with us, please let me know. Now, I haven't had a chance to go over all the messages. I won't till tomorrow, but I'm going to, definitely. We need to make a couple of videos on this Bridget Cruz thing. And I tell if it had been like the last time Bridget Cruz joined us, it was just to talk about the lawsuit between Bridget and Priscilla. It was quite general. This is much more serious because, yes, she does want to. Um, no, actually, did, she doesn't want to talk about the trial. But, yes, it was mentioned. But the main thing she was allowing us, to ask her questions now when she first joined the chat the first thing she said was look carry on talking about whatever you want to talk about i respect that we didn't have to ask her any questions she didn't bring it up i have to repeat this and bridget probably is watching bridget did not ask us to talk about it she didn't bring it up she didn't say a word she introduced herself she gave praise to our channel, Defending Elvis Presley. She said some very kind things about Team Elvis and myself. And she said she's quite happy to just sit there and listen to what we're talking about. And at the time, we were talking about um, um, Evolution Elvis, the new massive show that's going to be in London, the AI hologram type show. We were discussing that. And then we were discussing a girl of Scientology, let me just get her name up. I, I did ask you guys to subscribe to her. Let's have a look, let's get her up. Because I'm gonna, at some point, play some of these. The girl is called, and I still say now, guys, I'm gonna try and get this girl to I just went down the rabbit a thousand hole. subscribers. Let me just see if I can get it up. Um, where are we? Let's find our, you know, I can never find anything. Here we go. Let's try. Well, we were so the girl it. is we're called. It, but I am not... No, it's not giving me a name. Here we go. The girl, let's pause it. 
The girl is called Liz Gale Exposes Scientology. Liz Gale. So if you could just subscribe to her because we are going to cover her a bit later. Liz Gale Exposes Scientology. Now, she is a bit Marmite. You're either going to like her or you're going to hate her. But she does discuss Scientology, John Travolta, Elvis Presley, Lisa Marie Presley, uh, Riley. So it's quite interesting. She's only done, I think, four or five um, quite short videos. Liz Gale exposes Scientology. So we were discussing that. Yeah, uh, that was what we were going to go on to talk about. Um, but then we got sidetracked when Bridget... <coughs> Um, joined us now to cut a long story short Bridget did not make us discuss the thing about Elvis having a secret grandchild in Florida it actually was me that brought it up it was me that asked that question it was the first question that I wanted to ask Bridget because we want to know guys I don't care what your views are we want to know if it's true and her aunt my answer was is there a grandchild of Elvis Presley, a secret one, and her answer was very, very simple. Why would I lie to the court? Why would I lie to the court? Which means yes. Then I said to her, is it a grandchild or a great grandchild? Now, the reason I was asking that is because I'm asking, is it um, Lisa Marie's egg? Because this is, we're talking about a donated egg here, aren't we? Yeah, we're not talking about Lisa Marie giving birth to a baby. Well, at least I don't think we are. We're talking about a donated egg, but I, I, do you know what? I could be wrong. Now, are, is there a possibility that Lisa Marie, God rest her soul, had a child, actually gave birth to a child? I don't think so. <laughs> I think that's a bit far-fetched. Um, a bit just, no, it's too out there, isn't it? Yeah. So we're talking about, is it Riley Keough's egg? And if it is, she would have donated it in her 20s. She's 35 now, yeah? Um, is she 35 or 36? Yeah. Oh, we're talking about Lisa Marie's egg, which again would have happened about 15 years ago, I'm guessing, for 13 years ago. Um, so is it a grandchild or a great grandchild? So obviously, if it's Riley's, that would be a great grandchild. So I asked that question and Bridget said grandchild. I mentioned a grandchild. Yeah. That was her way of saying it's a grandchild. So I'll tell you what, guys, it does seem likely that there is a grandchild in Florida of Elvis Presley, a secret grandchild. But I won't say that there is yet. Now, do I think the other big question is, do I think that it was Bridget Cruz? I probably do. But I won't say 100 percent because I wasn't there, sat in the room with her. I'm leaning towards probably, yeah? And I based that on the way she was asking and answering questions, yeah? She, I, I must repeat, she was extremely friendly and polite and answered every question beautifully with, to me, what seemed complete honesty. And I tell you what, she also said she's going through hell Litigation is a nightmare, guys. I don't know if any of you guys have been through it. I have twice. And I tell you, and to do with my properties. And I tell you what, you don't sleep. You feel like you're going to lose everything. You cannot afford it. It costs an absolute fortune. It can literally bankrupt you. You don't know how it's going to turn out. You don't know who to trust. No advice is enough. Every day, while well, you're going through it is a bit of a nightmare. So she said it had punched her in the heart. That was her own words. She's her whole family are in shock because of this litigation. Don't forget, this litigation is against Priscilla Presley, a very powerful woman that may also have the support of Scientology. It's very possible. Come on, she grew up in it. Scientology, in my opinion, will be very, very interested in this court case and the situation with the secret grandchild, the possible secret grandchild. So 
Brilliant. My heart goes out to Bridget Cruz because I think she's struggling and suffering and feels probably feels that she needs help, feels a bit lost in the woods, guys. It's scary to go against Priscilla Presley, who has spent her whole life in and out of different lawsuits. A very experienced woman, Priscilla Presley, in lawsuits. Also, a woman that has won lawsuits. A woman that has some very clever lawyers, attorneys. Look at the way that Elvis was treated. Look at the way every step of the way Elvis lost. Every step of the way in that second divorce settlement, Elvis always gave in. Priscilla is, ex is a very experienced businesswoman. Yeah? Remember, she helped. Now, we know, in our opinion, she jumped in, jumped on the bandwagon and took over the idea of opening um, Graceland as a living museum and was involved in the financial problems with Graceland, with bankers, with lawyers. Um, so this is a very experienced businesswoman. Yes, she had a team of people with her, like Jack Sodden, but they made some very, very clever, important decisions going way back to the 1980s that have, you know, together as a team, have had incredible success. Incredible success. Okay, we all know it's because of Elvis's talent. His massive body of work, movies and songs, yeah, and his beautiful voice and his beautiful image and his merchandising of, of him, his museum, his products that are sold around the world. You know, Priscilla is an extremely smart woman with smart allies, but also experienced. So for Bridget Cruz, to go up against a Goliath must be scary. I know Bridget Cruz is successful in her own right. She works very hard. There are, there's dozens of, of videos of Bridget Cruz on YouTube that show just how um, hardworking that she is and successful. Yeah, we know about GWS auctions and she has made it clear she wants the auction company to be kept completely separate from this lawsuit. Completely separate, yeah? She has three other associates. Um, even though Priscilla is countersuing the, the associates as well as Bridget Cruz, the three associates, yeah? So it's complicated, guys. I probably will play a clip of Bridget Cruz just to give you an idea for her. She's a larger-than-life character. Uh, she does remind me of a female Colonel Tom Parker, but she's much nicer to look at. Uh, obviously, he was not a good looking man. Um, so we do have strong views from Team Elvis, from the subscribers, the members. You guys are passionate about it. So I'm going to read your views and we're going to look at some of the chat and we're just going to see how this chat unfolds. I don't have... Um, a set formula. I just want to give you guys the opportunity to have your say and then I'll try and respond. Right. So, Linda, it seems Bridget was reaching out to us. She was very upset in the situation. Yes, it was clear. She she needs she feels that she needs support. I felt that. Yeah. She likes to know that at least the Elvis fans have got her back. Yeah. She feels wronged. By Priscilla. Now, I do think, just in my opinion, that Priscilla did sign these contracts and did change her mind and has reneged and ghosted Bridget Cruz. I believe that. Yeah. Um, she also sold her name, image and likeness to Bridget Cruz. Bridget Cruz felt that she was trying to help Priscilla. Priscilla was in a difficult spot, owing a lot of money. Her income had massively reduced. Bridget Cruz came up with a plan with her team to help save her, to help make her loads of money. They wanted to make each other money, and they were good friends for a long time, close friends, I would say, for a long time. And 
It's all gone pear shaped. Priscilla has changed her mind. This is just my opinion for entertainment purposes. I don't know them. They're not my mates. I don't know Priscilla. I don't know Bridget. This is just me sounding out, thinking outside the box, giving you my version of things. Okay? Right, Rosa, thank you. I'm fine. And how are you? Oh, I'm very well. I'm very well. Thank you. Thank you, Rosa. Right. Uh, so, right, Valvis. Uh, sorry about my long-winded speech and my 10 cups of tea. A special welcome to the 37 people watching. Thank you so much. Thank you much for joining us in my kitchen so we can dust this, discuss this mo this quite unusual day where Bridget Cruz has joined us on our, on our live stream to discuss, no, to answer any questions. And, and we are the reason she started answering the questions. It wasn't because of her. Um, so, oh, thanks, Deborah. Right, Linda says she sounded convincing to me, but we'll have to wait and see. Yes, she was very, very convincing, because, and that's because of the way that she answered the questions. So Deborah is on the fence. I respect that. Um, oh, thank you, Rosa. Rosa, you'll get used to it. Don't worry. My son's daughter is called Rosa. Rosa, my son's daughter is called Rosa. She is 23. Right. Um, remember what happened to another YouTuber who was catfished? Um, catfish. I'm not. Why am I being catfished? I, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing bizarre about the, the things I believe in. Um, I know what you mean. I don't want to go into it. But trust me, <laughs> no one's ever going to catfish me. Right. Um, let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look. Right. So Deborah said, I uh, said yes in the beginning, thinking it's true. Now, not so sure. Now, Deborah, do you mean about the secret grandchild or that it was Bridget Cruz? Okay. She told us to watch what we were saying in case of legal ramifications, and I think it was definitely her on the live. Linda, and she gave us good advice. Everything we say is for entertainment purposes only, just opinions. So as long as we keep saying that, we're fine. We ain't lawyers. Right. So did people leave your chat earlier? No. No. Valvis, why would they? Why would they? If anything, it made it more interesting, I would say. Um, right, Lit Diana, I'm up, still at work trying to catch up. Okay, well, you, today, Diana, it's going to be an interesting one. Right, Valvis, yes, I always say it's not our business, but the difference here is that it's supposed to be confidential, kept secret. That's the difference. Um, um, but what is... Valvis, can I just ask you, when you say it's supposed to be confidential, um, I, I'm not sure what you mean. If you're if you're talking about the lawsuit, well, no, because everything we are discussing is in the paper for the world to see. It's public knowledge. So I'm, I don't completely know what you mean because all of the all of the court case has been released to the press. All of it, the Bridget Cruz. Priscilla and the countersuit, even the thing where they've, where the judge has accepted um, the evidence of Bridget Cruz about the secret child in Florida, yeah, uh, grandchild of Elvis in Florida, and then now Priscilla has got three weeks to respond. That, that's public knowledge. So even the thing where that they're discussing uh, that Elvis may have a, a, a secret grandchild. It's out there. It's public knowledge. I'm not so. Please explain what you mean. Yeah, but I say that respectfully, Barbis. I do tune in. What purpose would anyone have to lie about being Bridget? I believe it's her. Yes, it it seems likely, but we don't know it for definite. I I think it probably is, but I won't give a hundred percent. Yes, Louis. I asked if we could. Yes. So Linda asked if if. Yeah, I think I remember that, Linda. Thank you. So, Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Kate, how are you? 
since Lisa Marie had the twins by IVF, which actually I didn't know till yesterday, uh, in October 2008, like she says in her book, it would make sense that she had extra eggs frozen for the IVF cycle that she could have donated. Wow, then now that is a good comment. I need to take a picture of that. That's a, that, that is a live stream in itself. I didn't know until yesterday about, just took a picture of that. I didn't know until yesterday that the twins were IVF. But yeah, it does make sense that she would have spare eggs. My, my wife's friend uh, has had a, a child from IVF. And yeah, they do save eggs, don't they? They saved one or two, yeah, in case you want another. Kate, Catherine, great comment. Are you still there, Catherine? Uh, if you're not, you know I always read your messages. I love your comments on YouTube. Um, right, so Valvis, well, Lisa's birth and all her children's birth were made very public on the cover of the magazine. This child has not been made public by the parents, but we're not making the child public. We haven't. I know that it's in the papers, they're, they're insinuating who it is, but I didn't mention the name of that child on the last live stream that we had with Bridget, and I haven't mentioned a name now. I think I did a couple of times yesterday, but generally I'm trying not to name the child. And there's a high chance it might not be that child, yeah? so. Even I am not convinced that the charge you're talking about, that it's him, yeah? There could be more to this, so we'll see. Uh, many, may, let's have a look. Uh, maybe people can buy their way up the Scientology line. I'm just curious about it. Well, I'm, well, Tonya, hi, Tonya, how are you? Are you really well? We have been looking into Scientology. I, I am finding it more and more interesting. I don't know if I'd want to buy into it, <laughs> but this girl that we're going to talk about in a minute, I think is ex-Scientology and obviously said, what's his name again? We mentioned him earlier. I I was, I can't say his name, guys. I love his, Sciento his anti-Scientology channel and it's about children that have been um, uh, treated badly at Scientology. What's his name said? Oh, I can't say the name to me, someone. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, Serge Del Mar. Serge Del Mar. We have been watching him lately. I think all of us have been watching him. Now, I do like Serge Del Mar. I love the fact that he's trying to help children that have been treated badly at Scientology. But I don't like his views on Elvis. He tends to say that Elvis was a bit of a groomer and that Priscilla was groomed when she was 15. I don't like that. I don't like because I don't agree with it. I don't agree that I don't agree that Elvis was group, a groomer or groomed Priscilla. So, Serge, if you ever watch our show, I know that you're trying to defend Lisa Marie and you're reviewing the book From Here to the Great Unknown. And, and you're doing a great job defending Lisa Marie. Um, also, you're exposing Priscilla's, in our opinion, wrongful treatment of Lisa Marie and Riley. Yeah. But Elvis ain't a groomer. Elvis ain't a groomer, so please do some more research. Even that your assistant, your colleague, your friend that you invited onto your show last night, which I did watch, she needs to do her research. She did not have a clue what she was talking about. No offense, Serge Delmar, because you seem like a great guy. But that girl that you had on your show with you last night, the things she said about Elvis are disgusting. Yeah. And she had no idea what she was talking about. She literally was clueless. So my advice is get her to go and do some more research before she starts talking about Elvis in such a derogatory way. Uh, my advice to you is, I can see you've done a lot of research on Priscilla, on Lisa Marie. I can see that. But you've done not enough research about Elvis. This, that documentary in Australia was bullshit. Was bullshit. There has never been an underage girl, and I'm saying this to Serge Delmar, who's got the brilliant 
Scientology channel. Um, the documentary in Australia, where you had all these women and gay girls accusing Elvis of being some kind of paedophile, is bullshit. None of it's true. I have never known of any underage girl ever to prove that Elvis had sex with them, ever. Every girlfriend I've ever known Elvis to have when he was over 20 was also over 20. So this bullshit that Elvis liked young girls and bullshit. Now, did he like girls in their 20s? Yeah, he definitely did. Did he like girls in their 20s when he was in his 30s? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, that doesn't make him a paedophile. So, said, so please... Do a bit more research. Let's get things right. Because we get we as Elvis fans, we get offended when Elvis is treated like a paedophile because he's not. We're here to defend him. Remember, we are called defending Elvis Presley. So we must get things right. No offense. I say it respectfully in a kind way. I love your channel. I think it's brilliant. Yeah. So let's keep going, guys. Um, I don't remember Ben's birthday, but was made public on magazine but um the other children were what well, it was it was it was the day before yesterday wasn't it is that right of Elvis's birthday was the day before yesterday is that i'm not sure right let's keep going bridget denies being in scientology but mentioned some harassment by them well that doesn't surprise me guys does it come on i i would guarantee you that i can't say it for definite because it's just speculation for entertainment purposes, my opinions. But come on, Scientology are going to be helping Priscilla. She's been with them since the 1980s. Yeah? <laughs> They're helping her, guys. They're advising her. She's probably using their lawyers. Yeah? So, you know, just hearsay, guys. Bridget said she took an oath. Yes, because you have to when you give evidence. So, yeah, she did. Um I know that you're honestly doing your best, Louis, to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, with, come on, with you guys. Yeah, Team Elvis, we're doing this together. Um, yeah, if you are lying to the courts and they find out, you're in trouble, guys. You're in trouble. Yeah, so why would a very successful businesswoman who works her ass off why would she lie to the courts about this secret grandchild of Elvis? She'd be mad. She'd be mad to. She'd be mad to. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, did I miss a comment? No, I really do. Guys, I really do care what you think. I really do want to hear your opinions. Now, it doesn't mean I'm going to agree with you. I also say this. It's fine that we disagree. It's fine. If we disagree, it's okay. No bad feelings. Just we disagree. We agree to disagree. I always come from a place of love. Always. Kindness, love, respect. So please, no one be offended or take things the wrong way. There's no need. Um, let's have a look. Don't forget, if anyone wants to message me direct, you're very welcome. I know how you feel about us. There are some channels out there who are very snip, snippy to their subscribers who don't have the time to view. Oh, no, no. I really want to listen. I want, obviously, Valvis may be upset. Valvis, please don't be upset. You're very important to me. You're very important to this channel. We love the fact that you're part of our community. You're always very welcome to message me direct on my personal name, Louis McCreedis. Join us on the Facebook channel, Defending Elvis Presley. And if you want to talk to me privately without it being on the live stream, you're very welcome. If I've upset you, I apologize from the bottom of my heart. I do not mean to upset you. I love your comments. Your comments are very important to me on YouTube as well. So there's no hard feelings. There's no problem here. Uh, but this is a touchy subject. It is. Uh, do you know, I also didn't want to go back on that one ever. Right, let's have a look. Uh, sorry, it just jumped up then. Which is, uh, ah, let's have a look. Right, I'm sorry, it, it just jumped up on the comments. I've got to go back. 
Okay. Can't believe it's jumped up. It's jumped up, and there's literally a hundred comments. Right, let's, right. Let's go dark. Right, I've caught up now. Let's have a look. Um, hi, Vicenzo. Hope you're well. Always nice to see Tanya on. Who we got? We got Colleen. Hi, Colleen. I can't. You right? Let me just answer. Uh, I'm all right. I'm live at the moment. Is everything all right? I'm live. What's up? Let's, well, you're going to have to wait for me to finish my live. I've got 20 minutes left. Right, where are you? Okay, I'll leave in at 3.40. All right, bye. All right, so let's have a look. Um, so I stopped. Uh, let's have a look. Um, Yes, so Priscilla sold her image twice. Yeah, I think the first time she sold the Presley name, I think, to Bob Silliman. And I think the second time she sold the Priscilla name, image and likeness, to Bridget Cruz last year. Yeah? Uh, I think that's right. I could be wrong. Yeah, so Elaine says, I don't think Bridget could publicly post it if it's true. Well, she could. But then she'd be lying. Same goes with the fact that she's, um, give, you know, submitted it as evidence to the lawsuit. Um, but if she's lying, she's going to get in trouble. Yeah, it's that simple. So this is why I think it might be true. Whether it's true or not, it's still a child's business that's being put out there. But you know what? We could say that about any celebrity, Colleen. We could say that about any celebrity that is under the age of 16, couldn't we? Yeah. And uh, this is public knowledge all around the world. We're just a very tiny little um, YouTube channel. We are we are minuscule. Yeah. So we are. This channel is an Elvis channel, and we will discuss everything Elvis. Especially especially breaking news but I do I am trying to go out of my way to not say the name of the child I am trying to do that that's my way of showing a bit of respect yeah I've got the sun in my face again uh Colleen I mean that respectfully yeah um so I I know that when you're talking about uh under 16 year olds you, you need to be a bit more sensitive I accept that but remember this is on tabloids all around the world on social media all around the world. This is being discussed by hundreds of channels, yeah? This is not Louis, this isn't just Louis talking about it, yeah? Now it is close to home with us because we're a little family and we're discussing it. So I get it why emotions are high. Uh, I would love it if you, right, Crystal, I would love it if you would include your live chat replay on your videos after they live in. No, we do. Crystal, they are included. They tend to appear the day after, and you, there's two little black dots where the comments are, and you slide the black dot to the left, and you'll see all the comments, all of them. Yeah? So, Crystal, yeah, it's, it's very easy. So, I just, shall I try and show you one? Um, I'm, so, my son wants me to go and get him soon. So, I, I'm going to try and do another 20 minutes, then we're going to shoot off. But I want to show you. My son's all right because he's with his mates. So he's fine. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, so if I go to a live, yeah, I'm just going to show you. Yeah, let's just click on any live. This is for Crystal. Now, Crystal, look to the left where the two. It might, well, it could be your right. See the the black dot. You slide the black dot to the left. Yeah. And then it will, and then you click on it and it will show you the comments of the live stream. But you do have to wait till the day after. If it puts in court documents, it's best to be true or to be held in contempt. Yes. I, that's it, Deborah. Hi, Pat. Whether it's true or not, it's still child's business. Yep. Um, yep. Uh, let me just keep going. I need to rush a bit because my son's waiting. I do believe Lisa would have more eggs frozen. Yeah. 
It's very possible, isn't it? I meant the child is secret, not the lawsuit. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Varvis. And I think it, at the moment, it definitely is still a secret. Even we don't know who it is. This, this, you know, I'm not going to say the name, but the child that we have been told about that is in the papers, yeah, in that is all over Google, um, we don't know that it's him. We don't know that it's him, yeah? So I do think it's better to be respectful and not to name the child. Uh, so I'm trying my best not to. Yesterday I slipped up a couple of times, but today I've been pretty good on it today. Um, I tried and there is nothing mentioned about the live chat on the video replay. No, you won't get it on the video replays. You have to go to the lives. So you go you go to the lives, yeah? The video replays, you won't find the chat. You have to go to the lives, yeah? Um, so the, it will say live, yeah? So shall I show you? So we go to the, the videos. Where are we? Videos. And then one of the, if you look, one of the things says live. Yeah. You click on live, but what it is, the lives of today, you won't see them until tomorrow. They're always a day behind. <clears throat> I do post them on the Facebook, though. If you want to see today's live, I, I always post it on the Defending Elvis Presley Facebook page. Um, yeah, that's it, Linda. Serge doesn't know much about Elvis and Priscilla's relationship. Well, hi, Marcy. He does, but he's wrong. So he has be he believes the bullshit. Let me, Marcy, he believes this version. Yeah, Elvis met a 14-year-old, was basically more or less sleeping with a child and then eventually married her and had a baby and then was unfaithful to her, took drugs, and they split up. He believes that version. Serge believes Elvis groomed Priscilla, and because Elvis groomed Priscilla, Priscilla should have stopped Lisa Marie being groomed by, allegedly, by Michael Edwards. That's his story. That's the way he timelines it. He's wrong. He's wrong. He's right about his views on Lisa Marie and Priscilla, her neglect with Michael Edwards towards Lisa Marie. He's right about that, but he's wrong about it. The, the, the lead up to meeting Priscilla marrying her, getting engaged to her, her moving to Graceland, he's wrong. The reason they divorced, he's wrong, yeah? So um, this is where he just needs to do some more research. So Serge apologised in his comments on someone's response as he does not share the same views as Nora. Well, I want to read that, but Crystal, I did comment twice. I, I did comment. I wonder if he apologised to my comment. I, I, I first commented and said um, Elvis is not a groomer I think and then I commented saying that Nora um, was clueless was clueless now don't get me wrong I like Serge I like him he's great I highly recommend his Scientology channel I think it's brilliant Serge Del Mar guys please subscribe to him and he's very welcome on here he's a great guy but I do want him to get things right when it comes to Elvis and the grooming it didn't happen, guys. It didn't happen. So I want him to get it right. And Crystal, I will look that up. I will look that up because I'd like to see if he did apologise. I do believe you. I want to see it for myself. Thank you for letting me know that. Um, Nora said that she's clueless why she was on. I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Pat, I agree. And I did notice there was other well-known YouTube channels were on there. I think Shauna was on there, wasn't she? And so was not, uh, um, Amy Collett was on there, I noticed. And a few of you guys, yeah? Bernie. Um, it, it wasn't that... It, Bernie. Hi, Bernie. Hope you're well. Thanks for the coffee. It wasn't that, that Serge was lying. It was more that he um, had not done correct research on Priscilla and Elvis, how they got together, how they met, 
how she moved to Graceland, all of that. I think he had read, probably read the book Elvis and Me and probably believed too much of it. So the book Elvis and Me is bullshit, by the way, guys. I just want you to know, I loudly say this, that from my point of view, for entertainment purposes, all of this is bullshit. For, and it was written by Priscilla Presley to make her look like a victim and Elvis look like a bad guy. None of this is true. This is not fact. This is not history. And the whole world have been following this book for 40 years and it is wrong. Just my opinion for entertainment purposes. I'm, I'm being a bit quick because I know my son's going to phone me again in a minute. Uh, I pulled up an old one. It shows a transcript, which is what Louis says, but does not show the live chat replay. Is that, Crystal, is that today's or we have done three other live streams, three other live streams with Bridget Cruz about three months ago. Look them up on the live stream. Just go back to the history. There's three others where Bridget Cruz joined our live streams. Could have been four months ago. So Nat TV is saying Priscilla uses Scientology lawyers. And one of them could be Marty Singer. Yes. Thank you, Nat TV 22. And Nat was on there last night, wasn't you? On Serge's um, live stream. So you would have seen it. Um, let's have a look. Uh, now, of course, guys, when you go on to other people's live streams, please give us a mention. Please give Defending Elvis Presley a mention. The more we get put around, the better. Uh, Vicenzo gave us a mention. That was so kind of him. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, so Nora knew Lisa and Riley, but she had no background on Elvis. Yes. Now, don't get me wrong. Nora, I can tell, went through hell in Scientology. She was quite important in Scientology. She, she knew Lisa Marie whilst Lisa Marie was there. She even babysat Riley in Scientology. So a lot of what Nora had to say was very interesting because she had inside information when Lisa and Riley were there. And Benjamin, she spoke about Benjamin saying how lovely he was. So Nora does have some good stuff to say. But when it comes to Elvis portraying him as a paedophile, she was bang wrong. She got a, a lot of her facts wrong. I'm not hating on Nora. She just needs to do some research. Um, yeah, quite a few of you are getting on there now. Deborah says, quite a few of you are watching Serge now. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Right, Priscilla can't be buried at Graceland. She will ruin everything. I won't call her a name. We don't name call on here. I was behind on Serge's chat. So what, this is Valvis. So when I was caught up, I was hearing stuff. Yes, you, Valvis, you did hear it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I had to take a call, check in what I've missed. Solid. Okay, Rosa. If you remember in the settlement, Riley had to include at funeral. Maybe the falling out of the whole settlement is invalid and Riley doesn't have to honour burial now. Okay. Who knows? That's a, that's a whole live stream in itself, isn't it? Uh, okay, Colleen. Sorry, I got my. I missed. I mixed things up. Sorry, Colleen. I take it back. You know I love you. Um, let's have a look. Let's keep going. Yeah, we are assuming the identity because we don't know yet, guys. Whatever child it is, may be to remain secret, and that's probably a good thing. Well, as an Elvis fan, I don't agree. I'm sorry, <laughs> Louis. Will it all be exposed when Bridget goes to court? Uh, um, about Elvis the grandchild. Yes, but not if Priscilla just cancels the lawsuit. If the lawsuit ends, the child thing is going to fall away. Yeah? But then the public will want to know, won't they? So, I think the info about the child will be kept confidential. I doubt it. I doubt it. It's... it's Elvis Presley's grandchild, if they do keep it confidential, it won't be for long. And someone will find out. Come on. Um, I believe I will bring that out in her book next year. Just to bring it right. Let's have a look. Uh, Bernie. 
All right, Bernie's off. Okay, guys, I, I'm going to have to go as well, guys. But I just want to finish off your comments. Ah, she did. She failed, guys. <laughs> the driving test. She failed. The magic didn't work. She's going to have to pass on the next one. Serge and Nora are giving some great insight on science. Yes, I'm a big fan of Serge. I, with Nora, I still have more to learn, but I really like Serge. Is Priscilla is buried there? The other souls may be disturbed. Wow. Yeah, you have a point, Varvis. Um, yeah, it was a shame that she failed. Yeah. So anyway, guys, I, 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 we are going to come back to this again. Um, I just want all of you to know that uh, please don't be annoyed or upset with me. We have sensitive views on this situation with um if there is truly a secret grandchild of Elvis Presley and Lisa and Priscilla also some people have strong views on whether or not that was Bridget Cruz I think on this live stream I've made it pretty clear that I think it probably was her I think there probably is a secret grandchild but I won't completely say um that there is and it was her yeah i do listen to all your views i read all your comments even on youtube i read every comment and i even if we disagree guys i never take it personally we can have a disagreement and then it's forgotten about like that i highly respect all of you i class you guys as my friends please if you do get a bit wound up and a bit uptight don't worry have a cup of tea, like me, give it an hour, and we will just all calm down again, and we're all best friends again. Yeah? No hard feelings, ever. Anyway, I have to go. I have to go. We're out of here, guys. I'm going to go pick up my son, but I may come back for another live stream, maybe. Take care, guys. Love to all of you.